why Jeremy Renner led the Bourne legacy instead of Matt Damon. You okay? Director Paul Greengrass and Matt Damon had delivered an awesome trilogy with the Bourne franchise. It was a new take on spy films that put Jason Bourne right up there with the likes of James Bond and Ethan Hunt. The three Bourne films, Identity, Supremacy, and Ultimatum proved to be great for Damon's career. He went from an indie film darling to a big Hollywood action star. The trilogy itself grossed close to a billion dollars combined, as each film just kept getting bigger and better at the box office. That is why Universal wanted to continue the franchise after the Bourne Ultimatum. They were quite happy with the performance of the trilogy and saw more potential in the franchise. But sadly, Matt Damon didn't want to return for a fourth film. He was quite content with the open ending of the trilogy. The real reason he didn't want to return was because director Paul Greengrass didn't want to make a fourth Bourne film. Damon said that he wouldn't do it without the original director, and he swore that he won't return as Jason Bourne again. It's similar to what happened with The Dark Knight 4. Apparently, Warner Bros. wanted to bring Christian Bale back for a fourth film after The Dark Knight Rises. The film grossed over a billion dollars yet again, so you'd understand why the studios wanted that. But Bale refused to return because Christopher Nolan had moved on from directing any more Dark Knight films. Hence, the studio had to change their direction, and they came up with Man of Steel and the DCEU. Okay, enough about DC. Let's get back to David Webb. Um, I mean Jason Bourne. After Matt Damon's denial to return, Universal changed their direction. They hired Tony Gilroy and eyed Jeremy Renner to lead the franchise. It wasn't that Renner was recast as Jason Bourne, but he was brought in as a totally different character named Aaron Cross. Back then, Renner had starred alongside Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, and he had also joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Hawkeye. So 2011 and 2012 were perhaps Renner's golden years. That's because The Avengers was a smashing hit and The Bourne Legacy came next. But sadly, Legacy delivered mediocre results on critical and commercial fronts. And Universal decided that they won't do a sequel to The Bourne Legacy. Upon seeing the quote-unquote failure of the fourth Bourne film, Matt Damon was motivated to return. He went and talked to director Paul Greengrass about doing another film in the franchise. And that's how the Bourne franchise was revived one last time. It's too bad that Jason Bourne couldn't recreate the magic. That's because it couldn't bring anything new to the table. It was the same plot all over again, with the mandatory car chase, Damon taking down bad guys, and people yelling asset. The asset is deviating, of course. Asset on schedule. Asset is on the move. A million times. It's obvious that a sixth film won't happen with Matt Damon at least. The only way this franchise could have been saved was with a Damon and Renner team up. But don't get excited, as the doors to that crossover has already been closed in the past. Still, what are your thoughts on the Bourne Pentology? Is it among your favorite spy franchises? Let us know in the comments. And do hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.